Mid Journey, Doll E, Table of Fusion. What are they and what do they all have in common? Well, they are all image generators based on AI technology. So what they do is they take in some textual description and then they will generate an image based on the description. The description is also called the prompt. In this video, I will go through each one of these image generators and I will show you how you can use them and we are going to put them to the test. <coughs> the first image generator we are going to cover is Midjourney. If we surf to the website of Midjourney called midjourney.com, we see this page. We can test out Midjourney by clicking join the beta button, which will basically uh, invites us to a Discord. So if we click accept invite, then we are then we have access to the Midjourney Discord channel. Midjourney is the only image generator of the tree that we are going to cover, which is used inside of Discord. So when you start using Midjourney, you get 25 free credits and with one credit you can generate one image. So you can basically generate 25 images and after that you will have to pay. So how can we generate the images? If we go to one of the newbie rooms, we can already see some of the results that Midjourney is making. Which is also one of the downsides of using Midjourney is that basically all of your generated images are public. Well, public inside the Discord. So we can generate an image in Midjourney by typing in slash imagine, which is some kind of command. And in this command, we have to provide our prompt. So our prompt is basically description of what we want that the image generator generates. And this should be very specific, as specific as possible. This will get you the best results. So. Some tips are if you want to include some specific colors, an environment, some type of style that the image will be in, then yeah, provide it in the prompt. So unfortunately I have used up my 25 tokens and I am not paying yet for my journey, so I cannot show you how to um, generate the image right now. But if you want to see how to generate an image in Midjourney, I have another video about this specifically, how you can generate a mockup in Midjourney. In this video, I also provide some other tips and tricks. So let's have a look at the second image generator. So the second image generator I want to cover is called Doll E, which is an image generator from OpenAI. OpenAI is the same company that created ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot which you can ask basically anything. We can access the DAL E image generator if you go to labs.openai.com. So if you don't have an account there yet, just create one and then serve back to labs.openai.com and then you will see the same screen uh, as I have right now. So DAL E or OpenAI also works with credits or tokens. But when you first create your account, you get like 50 free credits in the first month. And every month after that, you get like 50 new tokens or credits to generate new images. All of the free credits that you get are not transferred to the next month. So make sure that you use them up for the end of the month. So if you go to labs.openai.com, we can see a nice and simple clean layout with just one text field to type in our prompt, so our description of the image and a overview of already generated images. For this doll E image generator, I still have some tokens left, so I can show you uh, how it works. So let's say, that I want a picture of a white unicorn with lots of fur 
and red eyes in a pink room. And I think with this description, we mentioned the colors and the environment. So I hope we get a nice result. So indeed, we got a picture of a white unicorn with lots of fur, red eyes and a pink room. Not all of them match the full description, but it did a pretty good job, I guess. The last image generator I want to cover is called Stable Diffusion. If you go to stablediffusionweb.com, we can read that Stable Diffusion is a tool that can generate photorealistic images given on a text image. So if you want to play around with Stable Diffusion, we do not have to make an account or something or join or have to join a discord channel so if you want to play around with stable diffusion we can just scroll down and here we see the playground we can see that we have two input fields one for the prompt and one for uh, a negative prompt what is a negative prompt a negative prompt is something that you absolutely don't want to see in the image that will be generated so if we test out Stable Diffusion with the same prompt as we had before and let's say we do not want to see blue eyes and after a, a bit of waiting we can see that Stable Diffusion generated a picture for us and the result is completely different than the one in OpenAI so that is actually quite interesting I also did a small test I put in the same prompt in every image generator. Um, I got some good prompt ideas from ChatGPT. And I just want to show the results with you so you can make up your own mind which image generator will be more suited for you in a specific case. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. If you want to build your own image generator, I created a video about that as well. In that video, I create an image generator with Angular and OpenAI. If you found this useful, please hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.